welcome to my channel. I hope this finds you all healthy and happy. Please enjoy the upcoming video, and if you do, like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate you watching. Thanks! Hi everyone! I'm here tonight to just do a really quick uh, show and tell video for you. Um, I've been uh, working on my watercolors and I thought I would share uh, a little bit of my progress with you. And um, hopefully this will be just really quick and fast and I, uh, I just, uh, I think that I'm improving. I'd love to know what you think, if you have an opinion or if you have any, anybody that you think I should look, uh, look at or follow. Uh, I've been following a little gal called Emma Lefebvre. She is a, <clears throat> she lives in Canada and she has a channel where she does tutorials, um, all watercolor tutorials. So, um, anyway, without further ado, these are, these are pansies that she, um, it was an exercise that she was teaching how to make pansies or how to, to watercolor pansies and so I, I you know I gave myself I gave a gave it a shot <laughs> so and then this was another flower I think irises I'm not sure um, and yeah they're okay but I really generally didn't like how they turned out uh, what I have learned is that uh, the actual paper that you use is very very important um, because it uh, helps in the way the watercolors actually uh, bleed and blend and all that type of thing. So there's that one and then this was another exercise that she um, taught us and it was um, more about getting a uh, kind of a a real light wash if you can see these really light leaves over here a real light wash in the background and then um, and then coming over top of it um, she teaches you know how to how to blend and how to wash how to lift the paint the watercolor back off you know how to fix little mistakes if you you know have some and so that was the about the second exercise I did here I just decided I wasn't going to give up on those pansies and so I, I made another, uh, another, um, and this time I actually finished it. I, I put a little bit of a sky in the background and some greenery and some, you know, um, grass down here at the bottom. It's very, um, well, let's just say it's very amateurish because I'm, I'm very much an amateur. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> um, but I'm, but I'm, I was working on the different uh, methods that she was trying to teach us, you know, and how to make the little lines and things like that. And so that was that one. And then she showed how to make peonies. Um, and I'm... I was really very happy with these peonies uh, when I when I did them. I was just pretty tickled because they they did actually resemble hers um, uh, that she was doing, and so I was happy with how those turned out. <clears throat> excuse me, you have to excuse my throat. I uh, this is the first time I have felt like doing anything in um, almost two weeks. I have been so sick, so. Um, my throat is, uh, it doesn't hurt or anything, it's just real raspy still. Now, I did go out and get some, which I'm only going to use sparingly right now. Well, actually, I, I got it on Amazon, but I did get some Arches watercolor paper, cold, you know, and it, it's the kind that she recommends, and you can really you know you can tell the difference when you are actually working with it so I made these flowers and these are this is kind of a layered technique if you can see the underneath and then the color on top and this was fun to do and 
with this one, um, maybe with these last two, this one and this one, you can start to see just a little bit of improvement, <laughs> I think. Anyway, I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think. But, um, but yeah, so it, it's coming along here, and I did enjoy making these. Uh, they're not quite the way she did it. I did mine a little bit different here, and yeah, but... I, but I can at least see a little bit of improvement. And then this one, um, I went ahead and finished a little bouquet of the peonies, which I did a little bit different way because she had taught how to do them like two different ways. And um, I was trying to remember if that was the good paper. I think it is. <clears throat> I did use one piece of my good Arches watercolor paper. But, um, so these are lilacs and peonies, and uh, I like how that one turned out. I'm kind of happy with that one. And then, um, then th this was an exercise that she was doing with, with complementary colors, and <clears throat> the, these complementary colors were, um, um, I think, yellow and purple, I'm pretty sure. And I just put a peach over here myself, <laughs> but um, she was doing the yellow and purple uh, as complementary colors. And um, and then she was showing how to do a peach, so I put a peach over here. And this is a lemon, of course, and some grapes. In case you couldn't tell what they were, <laughs> which is understandable. <laughs> so anyway... <laughs> But I really have I really have fun doing the little uh, following along and doing the little exercises that she shows. And then here's another peony with some buds. I kind of finished that one. Um, I didn't put a background or anything on it, but I kind of finished that one. Peony with some buds, and she shows how to do the leaves and the greenery, and um, it's very fun. And so then. Um, this is a uh, jar of lilacs, and it was one of the most more recent exercises. And um, she showed how to make the jar and actually have it look like a, a clear jar with water in it and the lilacs. And I'm pretty happy with this one, too, because, you know, it shows me improving I think so there's that one and then this is a, another exercise with the with the layering effect again um, that I did uh, these are uh, poppies and she also teaches you how to do like a, a side view of the of a, in an open flower and you know um, a bud, I mean, this is a bud, and, and like a side view of, of the flowers. Perspective, in other words, which I, you know, since I've never ever even taken high school art, I, um, this is all stuff that, you know, that I am enjoying learning, let's put it that way. And my paper will not, this is the not the good paper, so it won't, it, it won't blend um, and bleed like her her paper does um, whenever she does a bleed on hers it just it makes the most gorgeous effect um, so anyway, there's the poppies and then this exercise was uh, in orange and blue and um, so this is an orange <laughs> and this is um, either you could say an orange you know half or a grapefruit whichever you want to do and then the blue are our blueberries I kind of like that one too and then um, this one is a, a more uh, what do I want to say more uh, detailed uh, flower or a rose obviously that uh, she usually does more loose florals and this one it was actually sketched out ahead of time and uh, so that is my my 
rendition of that little exercise. And I do like how this one turned out, um, just for the mere fact that, that it was sketched first and so on. So I, I, I was pretty happy with that one as well. And then this is something that I did on my own. Now, Emma does do landscapes. I haven't um, followed a, one of hers as yet, but my dear friend um, from Ohio sends me uh, beautiful uh, sunset photos whenever she goes to uh, Canada for fishing trips. And so this was a photo that she sent me um, and so I was attempting to recreate the photo that she sent me in watercolor. And you'll see the, the dock here. And she was kind of standing uh, up on this side of the dock and taking a picture of the setting sun and, uh, and the shoreline and, um, yeah, the, the dark clouds. Anyway, so that's how my... Um, my uh, rendition of that turned out and I should have had a photo here for you to see a reference of it <laughs> but um, I'll pause real quick and see if I can get a photo really fast for you here bear with me okay so I'll attempt to show you the photograph the photograph that my friend sent um, and of course the, the colors are so much more vibrant and I hope I don't get too much of a glare on it but colors are so much more vibrant and so much more beautiful than um, anything that I could create here but um, yeah so that's supposed to be that <laughs> so anyway so there you go um, that was basically all that I wanted to come on and show you today um, I am going to continue to uh, to uh, um, work on practicing my my watercolors and uh, hopefully that you'll enjoy seeing um, me progress and I certainly am tickled uh, for all of my subbies and so glad that you're here and all my new subbies hi and I hope you stay around for a good while and with that I will let you go because I promised this would be short so uh, until I visit with you next time God bless you bye bye